Hello my Tubies, my Teletubbies, she that you love. And I'm going to tell you the best way. And I Gary give you a guaranteed answer, the best way to get your narcissist to come back to you. Guaranteed. One of the best ways to get your narcissist back is for you to just... Bow down, you know, tell them how much you need them, how much you miss them, how great they were, how your life is not the same without them and tell them like how perfect they are, how sorry you are, how you're the one who messed up in the relationship and you're sorry for it and you're Tell them how great they are and how you just want to make them happy and you can't live without them and, 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 and tell them how much you want to be there for them and how much you love them and how much you want to help them accomplish their dreams and, and, and all this. Oh. As long as you become this pitiful, pathetic and desperate individual that's one way to get your narcissist back actually it's not even one way to get them back that's guaranteed that's guaranteed i promise because you're hurting so bad and you feel that you know what i can't do it not even another day i gotta get them back i gotta get back because i'm hurting too much it's too painful well there you go there you have it this is what you have to do to get them back this is just one method or the other meth method is <laughs> the method <laughs> I use. Totally disregard the ass. Totally disregard them. Block them on all social network. Uh, no contact whatsoever. You see, that first way of going about it is just tell the narcissist whatever they want to hear. They want to hear how grandiose they are how fabulous they are, how much you miss them, how your life is just so, oh my God, it's just a mess without them and how much you want to service them and help them to, you know, accomplish everything that they are. Yeah, right, whatever. Any, uh, uh, This is way too much for Sheila True Love. Yeah, do you think I could actually do uh, step number one? Uh, no, I'm real good at step number two which is that total discard. Don't bother calling them ever again. Yeah, like I said, yeah, I, I, no, I block uh, bastards. I send them a text message explaining all the rotten things they've done to me. And I let that marinate. And then I, I let them know exactly how happier my life is without them. You know, like without my ex man, I've got two raises at my job. I've become, a, I have my YouTube, I don't have just this YouTube channel, my Tubies. I have not one YouTube channel. I have, two, well, not two, I have three YouTube channels. I've become successful. You know, you got a lot of people who like to say that they're winning. They're winning in life. They're winning in life. Wow, wow, wow. I'm winning. Look at how much money I got. Look at my cars. Look at my, my, my family. Look at my vacation photos. Look at how many cars I have. Look at my house that I own. Because in their minds, they call that winning. That's not winning, sweetheart. Nah. I, I know. Let me tell you my definition of winning. Winning is... What have you created? What have you created in life that can benefit the next generation, even when you're dead and you're gone? Can Is there, like Shakespeare, I'm going to use him as an example because Shakespeare has been dead for eons. At the same time, Shakespeare is still alive because so many people are still benefiting from Shakespeare. They're learning theater. They're learning the true art of Romeo and Juliet. They're learning and they're just whatever. See, the true love I have created, it's what, about what you create. I write books, okay? 
I write books and all of my books are motivational and inspirational. You know, you, you know, it is, is, is something that even when I'm dead and I'm gone, because when you write books, even when you're dead and you're gone, you're still alive, to be honest, because you're still helping people. It's not about like you go on Facebook, check this out. And I know I don't have to <clears throat> go into too much details with my tubies. You go on Facebook and they want to show you, look at my, take a look at my vacation pictures. That means that I'm really winning that life. I'm really winning, right? I'm really winning. Okay, take a look at my cars. I got two cars. Look at my house. That means I'm really winning. I'm really win winning. So what they're trying to do, to be honest with you, is to make you feel like they're special and they're above you. And you know, you know what? The only people who are impressed with things like that are people who are materialistic. If you are a person who's not materialistic, all that crap that they're showing my Hawaiian vacation and look at my, how, yeah, right. Uh, no, not impressed by that. I'm impressed with people who are creating things. Like you're creating new books to help other people. You're creating the YouTube channels to help other people. You're creating the things that you do at the soup kitchen. You're creating all this help that you're doing at, you know, those animal rescue places where people are abusing animals and, and you step up. You, you actually do volunteer work to prevent all of that. You are an advocate. That's called I'm winning at life. That's winning. Not how many vacations, not how many things I see you posted on Instagram and Facebook trying to make your life look like it's better than what it really is. Oh, come on. Really? Well, like I said, I've been blessed with common sense and I'm not materialistic. The only type of people who are impressed by that kind of crap on Facebook, Instagram, whatever the hell else they got, uh, uh, whatever. You know, look at my life. Look at me. Mm -hmm. I got the car. I got my new car. Look, look at me. I'm on vacation. Yeah, that's people who want to make themselves seem like they're more better than you or they're more special than you. Honey, they're not. They're not better. They're not special. Because let me tell you my view, and you may, I don't know, agree or not agree. The winner in life... The true winner in life is how many people, when you died, how many people loved you, really genuinely loved you when all was said and done and the end was here? How many people really could say that they genuinely loved you? Really? That's the winner. The winner takes all when it comes to how many people loved you. How many people's lives have you changed? You know what I'm saying? Have you created something that's going to help the next generation? Have you? That has nothing to do with how many cars you have in your garage. Look at my summer vacations. Yeah, they probably look at those vacation pictures and masturbate towards it. And they want everybody else to masturbate. No, no, ain't nobody impressed with that. If you're only impressed with that if you're materialistic. But when you are a genuine, good, God-like person and you're on Jesus Christ team, let me tell you something, babe. You ain't impressed with none of that nonsense. Oh, hell no. I'm impressed with how many people are going to love you when you die and what have you created to help the next generation and what have you created to make life so beautiful, you know? Like Picasso, he was an artist. He created beauty like art. That made, it just made a difference in the world. He created things. So those are the people who could honestly say, to be honest with you, yeah, I, I, you know, uh, uh. <sighs> but don't you ever go on social media and let them make you feel bad about yourself because they, they're they trying to make you feel like, oh, I'm, I'm so much more special than you. Because look at the car I drive. I got two cars. Yeah. Can you take a look at my family vacation? Yeah. We got that posted also on Facebook, Instagram, 
um, Reddit and we got uh, the other social, whatever, don't that mean that I'm winning in life? I'm winning, right? I'm winning. No, you're not winning actually a whole. You just, how you say, you bought in, you, you're showing me actually, to be honest with you, that you are weak-minded as all get out. You're weak-minded, you're lame as fuck. You're freaking totally lame as fuck. Don't like to use profanity, but let's keep, it is what it is. You're sad. You want people to see, no, no. I appreciate people who are creating things for the next generation and people who are helping people this day and age. And when you die, the winner, guess who the grand prize winner is? And all the curtains come down and all the graffiti comes down. Woo! How many people that loved you at the end of your life? How many people loved you for real? That's the winner and the one who was winning in life. It is what it is. I love you. Until next time, we'll talk again. Goodbye for now.